New tonight, she says her son and other students have been the victims of brutal bullying. A mother desperate for help, urging the Floresville Independent School District to provide a safe school environment, and the effort is gaining community support. The night team's Jonathan Cotto spoke with that mother and tells us what the last six months have been like for her and her son. These are photos of 12-year-old Jordan Wilcox. He and his parents say these bruises are the latest results of unresolved bullying at Floresville Middle School. His mother, Tyra Mosier, says the situation has been escalating for the past six months. Jordan came home. He gradually was more and more upset. So passing in the hallways, he would be tripped. He had his Chromebook knocked out of his hands, his hair pulled. He does have longer hair. Um, continuously spit on. Mosier says she has been tirelessly communicating with the school district and nothing has been done. His bully would tell him to kill himself. Jordan said other classmates were present and he says the coach would just tell him, okay, boys, that's enough. Time to knock it out, knock it off. Today, Mosier joined by a group of parents and other students who say they also have been victims. I went to the counselor, told my parents nothing was done about it. They could really care less. A community outraged, a mother at her wits end, and Jordan's father says it's gone too far. I, I'm just disgusted. I'm, I'm, I'm furious. You know, it's the only, only proper terminology for it is I'm just, it's, it's disgusting. Floresville ISD said it is aware of an altercation that took place on April 13th. The district says the administration is currently reviewing new information received from the parents and are continuing to investigate actions leading up to the incident. But Mosier says the school had months to improve her son's experience. This is a district-wide problem. Bullying, they take bullying serious, that's a joke. Because if they did, then why was nothing done in October, November, December, January, February, March, or even April? The school district says students, parents, and staff can report bullying or other unacceptable behavior by using a confidential website called Stay Alert. The information is on your screen. You can also find it online at ksat.com. Reporting, Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News.